Yeah, so here we are out of Fantasy of Flight, and there's a lot about to happen here. Uh, trying to get my head around it, there's a lot of energy change. We closed Fantasy of Flight almost a year ago. Uh, this whole building was only ever intended to be my shop. And the guys and the gals in the aircraft department are starting to move into the space. We're trying to bring some equipment out from uh, storage that has never been set up, you know, in anticipation of building things in the future. So anyway, one of the things I want to do today is I want to kind of get my aircraft department uh, a little bit in my head uh, as far as what I'm thinking. Uh, they could have a lot of great input because they're actually down on the floor. You know, things have changed since I came up with this concept 20 years ago. So anyway, I'm going to take them on a tour, uh, show them around a little bit, and then uh, we'll kind of see what uh, excitement we can generate. This hangar was always designed to be the maintenance shop. Okay, and so what I did is I took all the supporting uh, uh, rooms for maintenance and I designed them in here. Uh, you know, originally, you guys, some of you guys remember that used to be a cage over there. That was for putting the jacks and the, uh, the equipment and the maintenance stands and that kind of stuff. But eventually, and I can't remember why we did it, but we extended it and then we I think they needed a room for storing event stuff or something yeah, like that. Yeah, so what we did is we extended that over there. But in the long run, that's still going to be for the jacks and all that kind of stuff. But in effect, we basically covered it in now. So that was for storage. Uh, the next room down, which used to be Steve's office, was always intended to be... It says cleaning, and not only just cleaning uh, from a maintenance point of view, but it was for cleaning the airplanes, and it was—it was kind of—it was a bit of a catch-all room, okay? So there wasn't anything more specific than that. It just says cleaning room. The next one was the grunge room. That was always intended to be for the waste oil, and uh, the room was for the. Uh, whatever oil that we use and that's why it's got a little separate thing there for the drain in case of it. So it was always designed that way and I think there was always a, a fan in there that you know there was a vent or something like that. Now the next one this room here so we got these two rooms here and one of them goes in and then it goes into back it's a, the little room in the back is always intended to be the battery charging room and if there's a, and that's why that lights there and if for some reason somebody's got a battery on charge we can see that the lights on in the hangar that was always the intent that was built from scratch now i couldn't figure out what this room was in the front until I dug up these old drawings, that room was always intended to be the NDT room. Wow. Okay? And so we had designed, I tried to just think of everything I could design into the dream shop. So that room was always intended to be NDT. And also you could do like Rockwell testers and that kind of stuff or whatever. And the next room over there, uh, which is actually a little bit of a short room because the battery room goes behind it, that was always intended to be the hydraulic room. Testing hydraulics, you know, any of that kind of stuff. I'm not saying that that's the way it's got to be in the long run, but this was my thinking 20 years ago. Um, uh, the room in there uh, where Andy's cleaning parts was always intended to be the parts cleaning room because it's connected to what in the long run was always intended to be the engine shop. And like I said, I'm going to leave these... Uh, uh, basically, you know, we'll post them on the deal so y'all can look at them because in the end, I'm just looking for input into where this evolves, you know, uh, what kind of tools we might need uh, if it's the frickin' dream shop, you know? So the two offices that are down here, which Steve and Joe are using right now, were always intended to, if there was a head of the maintenance department, that would be their office. And on the flip side, if there was a head of restoration, that would be their office, okay? This in the long run, if for some reason we get all these tools set up and we've got a lot of extra capacity, maybe there's a business that gets run out of here that have people using the machines that are specialists on the machines making parts for other people that generate revenue, okay? But on the flip side, the machines are always running, so if we're doing backlot tours here, the people get to see the machine and the activity going. We're generating revenue, we got specialists on machines, and then Paul says, hey, I need this part and the guy goes wow 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 so they feel like they're part of the restoration deal and the whole thing feeds itself so th that was always a long term uh, kind of a theme yeah. i'm going to i'm going to turn the tuskegee thing into our war room 
for design for now, okay? So for the next couple of years, that's where we're gonna design Fantasy of Flight. We're gonna take all the exhibit out of there. We're gonna set it up with some cork walls. We're gonna get some flat file cabinets to set a table up for land drawings out. And that's where we're gonna design our future Fantasy of Flight, and where we can walk in, leave stuff up, look at it, sit back and look at things, you know, so we're gonna steal that for the next couple of years. But in the long run, that becomes avionics and electric. What's your wall at one time? It was. Yeah, it was at one time. It was at one time, though. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wire marking machine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was. Anyway, and then we decided we were going to do the Tuskegee exhibit. So in the long run, that's where that's going to happen. So I tell you what, with that, and also, too, you know, um, the reason that I that I put all these upstairs deals in here was always for a tour. I thought about that a long time ago, and that's why the windows look down into the shop. I think there's an opportunity that if, even if we're working away in here uh, at some level, you know, we could always put something up here between the things, how it interacts and we do tours in the future, I don't know, but that's something that we need to think about. Uh, so we're. Now, are you thinking about tours from there, or are you thinking yeah, about well, in here? Yeah, in here, but in here. From the other side. From the other side. Right. All completely organized. All kind. Of, we need to figure out how we're going to do it, and maybe, uh, you know, so we're not pissing off the mechanics and everybody. Maybe there's a way that we could do it with headphones. So the guy walking around is talking to him, and the guys aren't going. Hey, you down there working on the yeah, B twenty five? You know, you know. So, yeah. so we need to be thinking about those things where we're not impacting the schedule of the people down here, but we're giving these guys a great experience right. as well. So, that's kind of in here. So, just kind of walking in here. Like I said, this was always intended to be uh, a part. This is going to be the cleaning room. It could serve other purposes as well. But it's connected between that and it's connected between, you know, this would in the long run be uh, the engine shop. Um, behind the wall there is the blast and stuff, which is connected into what will be the weld shop, okay? And then, you know, like I said, Andy's the, the engine guy. A lot of the machine stuff would go down there, but there's certain things that are... Uh, you know, engine specific. Yeah, I'd have to that keep are, some. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. that are interchangeable. So, just if you were going to lay out a cool engine shop, this is the space, and that's what it's connected to. Perfect. No, it's ideal for me. I can get around that in a wheelchair. I can visit yeah, yeah, all the yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That implies <laughs> So now we're going into the future welding shop. Dave's looking at his shop. But this, you know, it was always intended to be the weld shop, and. Uh, you know, what I'm thinking of is, of course, when we get down to the sheet metal shop, we got a lot of room down there, but at the same time, you know, is this really too big for the weld shop, or are there things like the, uh, you know, the, the frickin' 12-foot open-ended shear that could go in here that you don't need that often, but it cuts quarter-inch mild steel, you know, and it's something that, that you might be using more than he uses. I mean, it's not going to be that big a deal to run around and cut some stuff, but but at the same time, it might make more sense to be down there. But, you know, you've got one of the power shears down there. I mean, all the, the welding stuff. So maybe this is too much space. Maybe this gets broken up into something else that maybe supports the engine shop. See what I'm saying? Okay, I'll tell you what. Here's something that I just thought of. This is the kind of thinking that I'm thinking of. If this is too big for Dave, there's no reason why Dave can't take that, and this becomes the engine shop. Right. What is that? See what I'm saying? It still has access to the blasting. Still right. has access to the part. I mean, just I'm saying this is the kind of thinking that I'm. I want everybody to be thinking about. You know, and and what'll happen is I think it's going to organically evolve on the fly. But I just wanted you to know where my head was 20 years ago. I, you know, I think we did a pretty good job 20 years ago, and we'll see where it goes from. You know, from uh, from where we're at. Okay. So then, uh... all right. Where Wayne? Go? Okay, Wayne's the last guy. Well, while we're here, in the long run, Wayne. You know, just from a maintenance point of view, I mean, this is a place where we're going to do maintenance. Now, you know, granted. Hopefully, I'm still going to be here. I don't know whether you or not be, but you know, five, ten years down the road, we're you know we're doing there and we're doing 
Fort Trimotor rides and Stinson Trimotor rides and maybe we got our own biplanes and helicopters, you know. So we're doing maintenance here, maintaining the collection that's being used within Act 3, okay. So this is a lot of space, so, you know, Wayne, uh, from uh, maintenance stands, I mean, the jacks will fit in there, all the maintenance stands won't, but the equipment that you need to operate out here, that's a storage facility plus the hangar, and then, you know, at some point, somebody like you would have the office on the corner there. So what other things here uh, think about that we would need or we fans. might want? Some fans. Well, the fans are going to go in. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we need airlines They're on the sides of the walls. We yeah. need, okay. we need yeah. electricity. Yeah, that can all, that stuff. yeah, that can, well, I tell you what, if you need something now that's not here, then let's, then let's get it. Uh, but in the long run, when we're kicking butt and there's a lot of people working in here, you know, then we'll we'll just yeah. whatever we need, we'll do. But yeah, anyway, just just come up with a, a a dream deal, and then let's let's fit it into the development of what we're doing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, Ricky's shop. This was always intended to be the parts room. Okay. This is the shipping and receiving room where all the deliveries come in, somebody does all the frickin' POs, somebody does the, the, the deal, and when somebody comes up, this little window right here was always designed where this is all locked up, and you walk up and you knock on there and you go, hey Joe, and it slides back and there's a counter out there, you know, I need a, an AN3-5 or whatever, and they sign, you know, whatever airplane part it goes to, you know, so it goes to the P-35. <laughs> so all that stuff gets tracked, okay? There could be special equipment stuff, shipping and receiving, this is where basically and we store parts. So Andy, you know, if there's stuff, does it make sense to store it here? Or if it's engine specific things like that, does it make sense to store it in there, you know? We'll yeah. cross that bridge when we get there. In the yeah. short run, it might be there, but right now, where is the stuff? It's, it was like in that other room back there that had all the stuff in it. It was just it's everywhere. Everywhere, exactly. So if we consolidated at some point, this might be a place that might make sense to to store it, you know? Okay, so in the long run, you know, this this becomes Ken's wood shop, okay? His dream wood shop. Just Ken, however, you, you know, start thinking about, you know, here, here's your space, and what do we want to go in here? He's already talked about a, a CNC, uh, a routing machine that will cut out World War One ribs, you know, plywood stuff. We could be making propellers in here. Uh, you know, that's what the that's what the space is. The next room where the fun with flight center is is a project shop, meaning we're just working on something. You know, maybe we're building the P-35 in there, and the P-35 is in there, or it would make sense that you know that might have something to do. That'd be where we do, do the bend one. Okay, so you're working on the wood stuff in here, and you know. You know, then you walk in there, and that's where the, the, the shop is. Although realistically, you'd, you know, you'd be building it in here because you'd be gluing stuff up and whatever. But that next room is a project shop that has two roll-up doors that can be open or closed that have access to the machine shop on the other side and the wood shop on this side. It um, opens up a lot more than currently. Do. <laughs> so, okay, so this was always intended to be the machine shop, and there's there's two rooms back here. Uh, the one everybody's been in, you know, where we do the briefing experience, you know, that's like you're inside the ship. Because this is the machine shop, that was always intended to be the precision grinding room, where the, you know, to keep the dust contained, okay, for the surface grinders, any kind of valve, you know, what kind of grind and stuff. I mean, with input from everybody else, you know. I mean, I'll go, I'm gonna go talk to Gene when I'm down in New Zealand and say, what do y'all have, what do you use, what don't you need, what, what do you wish you had, and then, uh, you know, we just start dreaming, right. okay, and what makes sense. Let's go to the sheet metal room, because it's really big. <laughs> Rick's gonna turn the light off when we go. I'm <laughs> <laughs>